If you look at the banking industry, one of the biggest challenges, I mean, one of the biggest spend, like if you take it, uh, if you take it overall, look at the overall spends in the PNL, fees around BCNE variable expense is second largest outside of the comp expenses, and uh, looking at the pressures around their revenues, uh, the only way to kind of get increased margins for their clients and for the bank themselves is about addressing those costs going into exchange clearing brokerage settlement custody uh, market data fees uh, so it, it's a large topic in terms of banks to try to reduce that cost what we as a as, as a bank uh, as a company provide services and solutions around fees is we provide an end-to-end -end solution where we uh, provide reporting, a, a, a precise calculation of these fees, uh, providing our clients with the ways of optimization of these flows so they can optimize the cost. Uh, we provide them ability to uh, better negotiate their rate agreements given the volumes that they do with various uh, vendors, uh, consolidation of vendors. So there are various avenues and various op op opportunities when they look at that MI at that level. So now we are providing the transparency into that cost so that they can action uh, the cost and make those reductions in cost. What we have is uh, we maintain the bank's rate repository. So we have a centralized repository of all the agreements. So all the relationships are basically captured digitally. And we take those transactions and actually apply those uh, rate cards onto the transactions. That enables us a calculation at a transaction level. And that's where they get the transparency back into which businesses are doing uh, what kind of flows and what is the cost they're paying for that. So mo most of it new to us is this around uh, in this whole blockchain environment that we could take each of these components what we have as a solution or a service and it becomes part of that whole process within that whole payment cycle because at the end of the day when you're talking about fees uh, these fees are paid out in on a swift message uh, it has to go through a process and this process can be completed by com plugging these components in by this what we tend to do is avoid discrepancies around when these payments are happening so there is a precise uh, view into what that payment should be and what is getting paid the bottom line around all this is that when banks uh, ultimately save uh, uh, costs around this variable cost uh, much of this cost is passed back to their clients uh, and these clients are now basically they can actually do a service to the clients a better service to the client by optimizing that cost for them and so they have a reduced cost of execution.